Greetings, I'm Sir Vane Glory and welcome to part 10 of my playthrough in Crusader Kings 3, playing as uh, now Duke Uda of Anjou. And we've played about almost 30 years, about 28, 29 years. Uh, and yeah, I've been doing some family negotiations recently, getting alliances with grandsons and nephews and the like. Uh, yeah, we just expanded into Alan Chong. And okay, uh, Duke Guy, where are you? We've got a thousand troops almost. So you've created an independence faction against our liege. I was thinking about that myself, but it's a long way off. Uh, let's see, independence war. Yeah, we don't have the prestige for it anyway, but we also don't have the troops. So we need to get some stronger allies. And options for allies are actually Lotharingia. Is this guy not a relation? My cousin. He's 59. And why is this guy not your... Um... Your heir, I suppose. That's interesting. Your primary heir is this young lady here. I don't have anyone. Damn it. What about my grandson that I've just installed. Oh, yeah, he's a vassal. Um, yeah, I can't do that. Should have thought of this before I gave him the, the lands. That's quite annoying. She's a bleeder. She's zero. Just born. Um, maybe that's why I didn't bother trying to marry that guy off. Aye. Well, that, uh, well, hang on. Let's have a look at uh, just. Am I not paused? You get out of the way. Lothering gear. Um, uh, thinking. Who else? Lane of Succession. Could be worth uh, your age forty four. It could be worth trying to sway you or improve my relations with you. And your boy is one. I've got a couple of granddaughters here. You're not having that. Uh, how about the pretty one? Nope. Hmm. Huh. I wonder... Oh, how can I do it this way? You would accept. Not enough for matrilineal though. Not that that matters. When they're related... But that's fine. 0.6% is nothing. All oh, the best royal families were interrelated anyway. Yeah, okay. Let's play the long game with that one. And hopefully this guy comes to the throne of Lotharingia at some point. And his boy survives. So let's send that proposal. And let's deal with this. Children say such funny things. 
As I shared the latest news from Duke Guy's court, my hostage Isabeau seems oddly amused, a faraway smile on her tiny face. I've got a story, Duke, a tale I made from my own seeings, but not supposed to say. Promised I should be put on a wee child's voice, not that I can. She giggles with mischievous delight, rev revelling in her rare power over her elders. Naughty, crows Isabeau. Family can be ever so naughty. A 90% chance of learning a secret. I... She could become disloyal, which is fine. Yes. Do go on, Isabeau. I learned nothing of consequence. Yeah, waste of time. Don't darken my door again. Um, back to this. Aquitaine is massive all of a sudden. Don't know where that came from. Uh, uh, good, thank you. You've accepted that proposition. Excellent. Right, pause this time. You, 46, you have a son who's unwed. About now, hmm, that is a pity uh, because you are at uh, fifteen, craven, greedy, bossy, and you're the only son, that's right. If only I had someone old enough. I wonder if they'd be interested. Nobody. Pity. Okay, am I? No, I'm not swaying anybody at the moment, so I think that's what we'll do instead. What's this? Pay homage, petition liege. Try make use of them. I'm going to start swaying this guy if we can. Uh, if I can get either or, or both, preferably, of them as allies, that would help me to become the King of Francia. I started out with no real goals, now I usually want to dominate the world. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's pay homage first. I can formally and publicly pe pledge allegiance to my liege, strengthening trust and the legitimacy of both our positions. Cost 100 piety, uh, prestige. Let's do that. Increase obligations. I don't want to promise him a favour, particularly. But what is he going to ask for? I don't think there's really anything that would be that detrimental if he did call in a favour. Family are all married off and that sort of thing. Gives her tax or levies. Let's promise my favour. Okay, we have no danger. Need no danger. Just head out. Yes, off we go. And we can move on again. Nothing available here after all. A fresh start. All packed and proper, we have finally come to the point where we can start our journey from Anjou to our next destination at Ile de France. As we depart from the holding on our mounts and our mounts start treading new ground, I am certain we will return soon and in one piece. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Uh, and who's my regent while I'm gone? My son. Should be. Yeah, excellent. The womb of the earth. 
The fields of Le Lude are a sight to behold, every crop in bloom, every leaf green, every stem luscious. I quickly tracked down the source of the verdancy, spotting a woman standing in a field, seemingly holding a lecture of some sort to a gathering of listeners. My name is Mistress Adelaide. She notices me in the distance and turns in my direction. My knowledge of gardening is vast, yes, incomparably vast, so stay a while and listen. You have the trait gardener. You delicate. Coloured me intrigued. So a hundred and f I don't have the prestige for it, but that's okay. I could become a gardener or down to earth. Um, down to earth gives me plus two learning. I suppose plus two stewardship wouldn't be a bad thing if I got it. Neither would plus two learning. Can't be intrigued. Right. Not hugely worth it, but... I rolled the dice, I took my chance. What are my court doing at the moment? You're... Uh, yeah, increasing control. You're improving development. Uh, homage. Taking the knee, servants usher me into King Louis II's great hall in Ile de France, where he sits in his throne, waiting to hear my pledge. I kneel at the feet of my lord and pledge the many oaths of homage as he sc his scribes record the event. Then comes my promise, that he may call on me of for any favour, as a loyal supporter of the king in all his endeavours. Louis bids me to arise and confirms sat his satisfaction, along with my rights to the lands I rule in his stead. See, what could possibly go wrong? We gain 25 renown, he gains 20 opinion of me, I gain 350 prestige, and all is well with the world. Here we go. I travel a knight errant. It is known that the people of Versailles seem to profess a special devotion towards their knights and their legends. My lord, the knight says, bowing his head, it is most fortunate that you and I came to meet at this crossroad, for I am in search of a marvellous fountain which water is said to cure all illnesses. If you are to help me in my quest, I shall pay homage to you. Bohemond is quick to interrupt. Wait, my lord, I know this guest. This knight is Guige. Uh-huh, and Guige. Uh, good marshal. All right, so prowess, logistician. He's brave, he's arrogant. Uh, you follow the knight. Okay, we can do that and see what happens. A really nice armour you have there. Get some cash. Eh. Yeah. That's because I'm ambitious, yeah. Uh, what's my knight situation? 26.15, so he would be just behind my marshal. No, 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 no. Eleven. Behind Thomas. In terms of his prowess. Okay, I think I shall never leave a knight unattended. Lead the way. Let's follow and see what we get. The knight leads us to a small clearing where a natural fountain glimmers. The light reflects on its surface with a blissful shimmer and it makes the water look so bright that it feels like a second sun. Careful, a beast, a guardian! The knight points at a stag, standing between us and the fountain. At least it's not a rabbit. Don't fear I shall fight it. Again, knight errant training. Uh, Guige gets the water. Or I get wounded. Healing water's gone. Guige joins my court. It's stress. Right, I'll distract it. He becomes the owner. So that's just. Uh, well, no. Healing Water Legend, what's that? 
Monthly piety per night plus two percent. Okay. Do I want that? Just stress gain. I tend to not. Well, uh, yeah, I try to stay within character so we don't get stress. Um, but obviously, <laughs> I have lots of siblings dying around me at present, so stress ramps up. He gets this the healing water. Well, two and three chance that I. He gets the healing water, and I get the legend. And he joins the court. I do think I want him to join the court, if we can get him. So, coin flip here, and the stress, it goes against my character. So, let's distract it. I gained Healing Water Legend. Excellent. And he joins my court. Okay. Uh, why do I not have you as a knight? Geese, you can become a knight. How many is that? One, two, three, four. Forced into the roll. Five. Ah, okay. Six, seven. Yeah. Okay. At long last, I'm finally home. There is nothing better than arriving back in Anjou after a long journey. I look forward to resting for some time, but the call of the road beckons ever onward. My caravan master, Bohemond, reports that we have journeyed for 66 days and traversed 11 baronies. And I lose some stress. Excellent. Okay. I, I can petition my liege. Whoa, we teleported right here. We could have asked them when we were here the last time. Let's see what we want to do. Um, what pe uh, just petition type. Bestow claim title of vassal. I don't think I really want to petition the leads then. No. I'm okay as we are. Another. Uh, that's already. Selected, so we have <clears throat> fertility. It's not really needed. My wife, actually, I don't know if she can have any more kids. We're around about 40. Um, I don't think I'm going to go down the seducer route. Want another intrigue? Uh, I guess I need to start torturing people. I I don't know if it's worth switching to another another lifestyle. I don't, yeah, I'm not really feeling it to be honest. We'll just stick with intrigue, but we will. I think switch to Skullduggery. And 
we'll come down the torturer route. What is my name? I've forgotten it. What's more, my title? Is it not something nasty? What's next? Martial per stress level intrigue. Well, we're carrying a bit of stress. Let's start with dreadful. We've got thriving in chaos next. And. Oh no, I don't have a nickname. It must have been an old game or something. Um, right, carry on. We could go on a hunt and reduce our stress. What other options do I have? What wars can I declare? I'm all. Uh, I don't really have much in the way of family, I think, that I need to find land for, or I could parcel land off to. Uh, that's a, not rulers. And my dynasty. Yeah, it's only granddaughters. I thought you had some land. Oh no, no, it's your husband. Uh, um, God, this is so annoying. This size of these bloody um, windows. And the fact that they pop up when you're paused by another pop up. Um, and if you stop moaning, filling up the screen, it's something you have to live with. Yeah, so you've got all of that. Couple of counties and a barony. Right, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, I'm not, I don't need to give you any more lands. Estranged authority. Of late, my courtiers seem to avoid me at all costs. I hear whispers that they consider my calm outlook disturbing, devoid of emotion, but that just means that I rule with a firm hand. It doesn't mean that I'm a monster, does it? Uh, okay, so... I'm reclusive. I'm a confider as well. Uh, yeah, well, okay. Let's just go with that one, it's simpler. Courtiers are forced away, don't want them to his opinion. Yeah. No longer overwhelmed by stress. Excellent. So, yeah, no wars then. In that case, let's go on a hunt. We can just about afford it. Let's see. Not anywhere too far away. What have we got here? Plus one. Plus one. So there's nothing. It looks. I'm going to get. Comberg. Slightly dangerous. Not too far. That's probably the best chance of. Um, a successful hunt. Let's grab us some forest guides. It brings it down nicely and it only costs us four gold. Uh, purposes of recreation. Search parties. Can you actually disable these? Activity options. Because I'm not seeing... Right click does nothing. So I'm not seeing a way to disable them. Fair enough. Uh, let's just start the hunt. A fresh start. Off we go. Giving my boy plenty of experience as regent. Okay, you could do with some better stewardship. 
As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants can get started on the preparations. The gamekeepers check the woodlands each day for signs of quarry, while establishing a camp closer to the hunting grounds. I have checked my gear and horse many times, it won't be long now. Right, maybe long. And one in three chance of success. I think 80 is the, the maximum I've seen. I don't know if it's capped at 80. So I'm looking at this as being almost 40, or almost 50% chance of success. There we go. Boymond, my master of the hunt, summons the party together and as the light reaches the camp in the forest near Comburg. The local gamekeepers have scoured the vicinity for recent tracks and fumes. There is clearly a small roebuck near, but no recent traces of larger game. Let's get out there. I want to hunt something with um, success, success chance decreases for both of these. It decreases greatly for this. Let's just get out there. We're only here for the fun of it. My acquaintance Matthew is crouched down on the ground, humming cheerfully, picking peonies. Simon, my acquaintance, peers over his shoulder, listening intently. Duke, what a bounty of nature! Look at these plants! Truly the wealth of the earth knows no bounds. We do not appreciate these simple treasures enough. Uh, success chance increases, that's all, all I'm interested in here really. Stocked Medicus. Plus one learning. Me. Okay, get back on your horses. We're here for serious business. Away from the others, I came across a cottage housing one of the most beautiful people I have ever laid my eyes on. She has invited me to stay and rest, and I am surprised by how much I have in common with a simple peasant. Must you return to the hunt so soon, my lord? I have never met a man like you before. I lay with Adel Adelindus, Adelindus, lose stress, resist his advances for five years. Uh, plus ten, an extra piety. What's my character? 39, getting towards midlife crisis age. Um, Cam, I'm paranoid. And I'm um, reclusive. And I'm a hunter. So I'm paranoid, so I would suspect that she's up to find somebody so beautiful alone in such a shack. Um, there must be some devious plot behind that. Uh, I'm reclusive, so I wouldn't really go and approach her anyway. And I'm a hunter. I want to just go out and kill a deer. So let's. Uh, I'm here to hunt nothing more. My huntsmen have pointed out a secluded clearing downwind of the beast's covert, a perfect place to form our bowline and await the row driven thither by the hound teams. It would be a fine chance to practice our archery on a real moving target. Uh, yes, a great suggestion. It's not as if I'm after wolves' fangs or something here. The wood truly is the mantle of the poor, but as the row flees in panic from foraging peasants, I feel my patience wearing thin. Surely there must be better things to do in Comburg today than picking roots and mushrooms. And remember, I'm a torturer now. I drive this rabble out of my hunting grounds. Then we're almost at 80% now. We watch for the row from our concealed bowline, tensing with anticipation as the flushers' cries and baying hounds grow louder. The brown buck suddenly leaps into the clearing ahead, his antlers flailing, bounding straight towards us in terror. 56% chance of gaining some prestige. Madadu could gain the prestige. Yeah, now everyone loose. Not interested in that it's a tiny amount of prestige, we've got enough. Hunts like these are a pure joy. I cannot wait for next year. Though the quarry may have been small, the party is still elated with the satisfaction of a good hunt. 
Count Goslin directs the breaking up, carefully skinning the carcass with direction from the Game Masters. We place the eager dog's share of the spoils in the stretched hide before departing for camp and home. I'm no longer overwhelmed by stress. Good job. Keep a memento. I... Yeah, Count Theodoric. You don't really like me. Why should I give you anything? No, I'm keeping the antlers. I don't think I've given away the mementos to anybody after a hunt so far. Okay. East Franconia. It's too far away. Um, how about West Franconia then? Still too far away. Right, anyway, we're heading home. We have a row antlers. Plus 0 0.04, per, uh, 0 .4, 0 0.04 per month prestige. Uh, oh, there they are. Reduce stress gain and tyranny, tyranny loss. Ah, fair enough. Get it back through torture. At last I'm finally home, can go inside again, etc. I'm not want to petition my liege. My nephew, you don't like me too much. You've got one alliance, you've got no wars going on. 500 troops. Let's accept. And with that, we're going to put in a break. I'm thinking it may be time for an attack on Brittany. Ah! Back to the Norsemen. Holy War for the Kingdom. Uh... Yeah, I'll come back to that. So we could do that. That would actually be fantastic. We've got the piety. We can only do one per lifetime, but that's fine. I don't have the money for mercenaries, though. Neither does he right enough. But then it's a, a religious war. So other factions of his religion might join in. Yerldom of Brittany. It still only costs me piety. I was thinking about becoming a king. I suppose, I wonder how much it would cost to form the kingdom if it isn't already. Yerldom would be an earldom, obviously. Um, not a kingdom. Okay. Well, while hosting the Lords and Ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray King Carloman of Aquitaine in a good light have presented themselves. My lord, pray tell who is the most noble person you have heard of. Yeah, okay. King Carloman. Hopefully we'll be able to get a marriage and an alliance or something from him eventually. But as I said, time for a break. So thanks very much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.